yeah, I've been lucky to be uh, invited by USW to do some talks and to uh, host some sessions um, at the atrium over the years. Amazing. About um, all sorts of interesting things like albums and about Cardiff and about, you know, where music comes from and things like that. Um, and I was at Immersed last year at the Tram Shed as well. So yeah, it's been uh, you know it's lovely to get invited to uh, to be here. Yeah. And um, I was given an honorary doctorate by the University of <laughs> South Wales earlier this year in 2023 as well. Amazing. So that was a huge honour, you know. I know Immersed has grown, but it's um, it changes like every good festival or yearly event. It changes every year, you know, and you come up with new ideas. And Immersed has done this is kind of. Um, brought new ideas and as technologies developed and as courses at the University of South Wales have changed and developed that's kind of reflected I think in what's been on offer as part of Immersed. Um, so I think you know at the core of it is uh, just creative output isn't it? It's about Absolutely. music and this year with lots of art and theatre and uh, and film as well being a big part of it is really exciting. So um, you know Immersed 2024 looks absolutely brilliant, I think. Oh, wow. Well, um, I think, you know, what's interesting about putting on an event is um, you sort of understand more about events the more that you do. You know, the, it's about experience and it's about working, being on, working and being on the event. That's when, you know, you realise what's needed to make it a success. And you realise that it's about um, teamwork mm -hmm. and it's about everybody knowing their job. So being like really clear and communicative is really important, I think, when it comes to events. So that I'm just having that vision and thinking things through realistically, like what's it going to be like, you know, on the day of the gig of the festival um, and not taking anything for granted because it's easy to get uh, wrapped up in events and you're in your own little bubble. Yes. And uh, that's true about every event and every band and venue and record label. I think because you live and breathe it, you presume that everyone else knows about it. But of course they don't. And they need people need reminding, you know, the public need reminding this event is happening. <laughs> so um, I think knowing what you're meant to do at the event and, and understanding what your role is, but also understanding what everybody else's role is is really important as well so that you're respectful to everybody else who's part of the team nobody's more important than than um each other when you put on an event everybody's on an equal footing and that's what makes a good event i think at the end i mean nobody's more important apart from the artists <laughs> who obviously can uh, do what they want of course <laughs> Oh, I think it's a brilliant lineup. Like Bob Villain, I think are going to have a fantastic 2024. The new album's coming out. I've heard some of it, and it's brilliant. And I think they're so energetic. And um, I think you know they've played Cardiff before, but they've played small venues. Like they've played the Moon on Womanby Street, which is you know just over 100 people. So to see them play Tram Shed and headlining this is a big deal. And same with Grove as well. As well, you know they've worked their way up. Um, both artists, Bob Villain and Grove through independent venues so to see them uh headlining is brilliant chroma i think are fantastic as well um and voya two really exciting bands based in cardiff who have been working really hard on on you know perfecting their live thing um and it's paid off for chroma they're supporting foo fighters next year in manchester a stadium and an album's just come out and i think chroma are a good example of a a uh, Welsh band who haven't rushed things. They've been around for like six years or something, but it's only now the album's come out. So that link up with sound progression is really important because it is hard to get noticed. You know, it is difficult to um, sustain a music career. So with, um, you know, groups like Sound Progression and the work that, that they do and all the brilliant various charities and and um, community music groups we have in Wales like Beacons and Forte they all play a really important part I think so Immerse kind of reflects that as well I think so like every band or artist who's broken through usually got a massive following locally and so if you're playing to not many people at home you know 
why do you expect to play to many people in other places as well? You know, you've got to have, I think you've got to talk to other artists, you've got to talk to other venues, um, because bands come through that, you know, and build a buzz and a following locally. So I think that's important. And yeah, being on a festival lineup like a nurse is really good uh, way of, of doing that and sharing the bill with bands like Bob Villain and, and Grove. It's a really great um, opportunity, I think. And I've seen a few live. I've seen Voya live. I went to their gig at the Chapter Art Centre in Cardiff and uh, a, a months ago, and it was absolutely brilliant. Um, and I've seen uh, I've seen the Eclectic Lizards. <laughs> Is that the right name? I think it was the Electric. No, it's the Epileptic Epi Lizards. Sorry, of course. I I, earlier I called them the Electric Wizards, mm -hmm. and now I'm calling them the Electric Lizards. But it's the Epi. I'm a big fan of the Epileptic <laughs> Lizards. I saw them As play the launch. And Chroma I've seen live plenty of times. And I've seen Grove and Bob Villain live. I've been lucky to see a lot of the lineup, you know. And um, yeah, there's a lot of interesting, but there's a lot of new names. Every year, you know, there's new names. And that's a barrier for some people as well, is they see a list of names, they go, I haven't heard of any of these. But if you've got um, Bob Villain up top, then it's going to pull people in and they'll see oh, some yeah. new artists. Everybody's new. Everybody has to start somewhere. Everybody is, I don't know that band. Why should I go and see them? But if people get the whole idea of Immersed, and that it's you know what it's as brilliant as it is and it stands for what it is then it'll bring people in and some people will turn up thinking bob dylan is playing at the tram shed i guarantee you <laughs> because anytime the red hot chili pipers or um the chip shop boys play local gigs people think they're going to see the pet shop boys or the red hot chili peppers they do because they just see a name very quickly on twitter and think they're going to see them so make sure you've got somebody Somebody's job on the night will have to be to stand on the door going, Bob Dylan's not playing, it's Bob Villain. 